So you've come here wanting to increase your energy well, early game with your basic gear. There won't be any spoilers here. Each boss in the run will drop 20 charges, and you will need a total of 100 to make a small energy well. And you need 3 small energy well bars to make a full battery. Before we get started, we are going to infuse our weapons cheaply and see what else we will need to bring with us. So firstly we are going to head up to the Sky Islands and go through the Nochaya Shrine, which is unlocked early in the game. Go ahead and use your Ascend ability. Once up top, go to the right and jump off. We are going to try and land here, where there will be a Flux Construct level 1 boss. We're only going to use our Ultra Hand ability and our melee weapon to kill this boss. Go ahead and infuse your weapon with the core that gets dropped since you can't pick it up. Okay, now your weapon is sorted. Next thing will be the food. So this is a basic food recipe that will heal you plus also give back um, any hearts that you lose due to the gloom debuff. Now you can replace the meat part with any other meat that you have or the vegetables with any other vegetables. But you will need to keep the sun de leons in the recipe. Lastly you will need about 25 to 50 arrows depending on how accurate your aim is. Okay, let's head down to the Nasoyge Light Root Waypoint, which is located underground and it should be your first point of entrance when you first get down there. This is where we're going to start our boss train from. But before we get started, let's sort out our ride. Here you can see gloom effect to horses. I'd recommend using one ice fruit to freeze one horse and then quickly stand next to it and get ready to mount it. You will come across these bows. I won't spoil anything, but try and gather the ones that are grouped up for a later use through your gameplay. You will also come across bombs on the floor, I'd recommend picking them up as well. There will be many enemy camps that you come across. Here you can gather more zonite and find arrows and other supplies. I'd highly recommend coming here if you're running low on supplies. So all these bosses are going to require you to hit their eye or weak point, and then they will get stunned, and that's when you attack. A tip for the Salnox will be that try getting close to it, and then move further away quickly. This will bait out an attack, and will make it easier for you to hit the eye.
the other form of travel would be constructing a basic vehicle. This is what I'm currently using. But I would still recommend using a horse as you would end up stopping too much during the travel with low energy wells. If you don't have the auto build ability, I've made a marker for you here. You can see that I'm moving the vehicle because if you go too far away, it will despawn. Instead of leaving weapons behind, I will infuse them together. Enjoy the rest of the video, I'll try and only talk when input is required. So as you can see, I avoided the stone talus. Though it is a fairly easy boss, it will require bombs and arrows and takes a little time to kill. What makes it longer is that the weak point is located behind it directly, so I would personally avoid this for now. We've come across some ghostly figures holding some weapons. These will be scattered throughout the underground. I'd recommend picking them up if you're running low. So here's a Zonite ore deposit, which is normally next to a Frox, which is our next boss. Again, aim for the eye and jump on the back once done and destroy the ore deposits on its back to kill it.
Once you have the loot, go back and break the deposits from earlier. As you can see, the vehicle vanished, so I had to summon another one. Avoid this Lionel boss, once we get better weapons or better infusions, we can come back for this. It is also armored so we're going to need bombs too. This stone talus will be a lot easier as it has a weak point on top of its head, so aim for the ore deposit and then climb on top and whack it. Again, keep a lookout for drops that can be infused with your melee weapons that can't be picked up. Hey, 
Here is the map with the boss locations, and the red circle ones are currently the ones that I would recommend to avoid if you're running with like really basic gear. Now let's head back to the Sky Islands at Natroya Shrine, speak to the NPC, and trade in your charges for energy wells. Once you get better gear, this will be a lot faster, and you can add those other bosses that we left out. Don't forget, after every Blood Moon, the bosses we just kill will come back to life, so we can come back here and fight them again. If you'd like to see a bigger farm area, or more Construct bosses added to the farm, let me know. If you think I missed any bosses that were close by during this run, please let me know in the comments below. And that's a wrap for the video. This is my first long format video. So if you have any feedback, please let me know as well. If you'd like to see more content like this, please leave a like and sub to the channel.